hello guys uh, in this lecture we will discuss about the notion of coordinate system uh, for a uh, general vector spaces so uh, first let's see the definition of uh, coordinates uh, for the vector spaces suppose uh, we have a basis of a vector space v suppose uh, we have any vector space v and there is a basis for this vector space suppose having elements x1 x2 xn uh, then we know that if uh, we take any element in the vector space then it can be expressed as the linear combination of the elements of the uh, basis so it means we can write it down uh, v as c1 x1 c2 x2 and so on cn xn where these c1 c2 cn are some scalars so uh, these scalars c1 c2 and so on cn these are called as the coordinates of this vector v relative to the given basis b if we talk about uh, solving any problem you must be given in the question a vector space any basis and a vector so if you have to find the coordinate vectors of uh, this element v so what you have to do just write down this element as the linear combination of the elements of b and solve it to find the values of uh, the scalars c1 c2 cn so those scalars will be your coordinates of the vector v uh, with respect to uh, the given uh, basis b or uh, relative to b so we can see an example so first uh, we will see uh, the coordinates uh, relative to the standard basis find uh, the coordinates of uh, the vector v given by uh, 314 Uh, relative to the standard basis we know that we have vector space v as r3 the standard unit vectors for r3 are i which is given by so this is the standard unit vector of r3 and we know that if you take any element uh, in r3 then that element can be expressed as uh, the linear combination of uh, the elements of these vectors uh, which are the standard unit vectors so we have vector v as 3 1 4 so it can be expressed as the linear combination of the elements in the basis so if you put the values of i j and k so you will get uh, the same thing or uh, the same vector so we can express it is uh, as the linear combination of uh, the vectors in the basis so you see that these elements will work as the coordinates uh, for this uh, vector v relative to the basis b which is your standard unit vectors so observe that uh, the coordinates of any vector in a vector space relative to the standard basis is the vector itself so let's take another example so we have to find the coordinate vector of uh, the matrix b which is an element in m22 having components 3 4 1 6 uh, with respect to the standard basis so uh, we know that have any element in the vector space in case here we have this b then that element can always be written as the linear combination of the standard uh, basis vectors so here we know that the standard basis vectors for m22 is 1 0 0 0 so if you see here uh, that we write down uh, this uh, given vector b as the because uh, this is an element 
uh, in the vector space M22 and M22 has uh, the basis element as E1, E2, E3, E4, which are 2 by 2 matrices having uh, the entries 1 at the respective uh, positions and we know that this element can be expressed as the linear combination of uh, the basis elements. So we have 3E1 plus 4E2 plus E3 plus 6E4. So the coefficients of uh, these standard basis vectors are 3, 4, 1, 6. So which represents uh, the coordinate of the vector B. In these two examples, we see that the coordinate vectors are uh, the same as the given vector. Now suppose if we have a non-standard basis, then how we will find out uh, the coordinate vectors? So we have to find the coordinate vector of V, which is 5 minus 1, 9, relative to the basis as given by V1, V2, and V3. So we know that if we take any element from a vector space and a basis is given, then that element can be expressed as the linear combination of the elements of basis. So we have So here C1, C2, C3 are the scalars and it represents uh, the coordinate of the basis S of the vector V. So just put the values of V, V1, V2, V3 and simplify them. You will get this system of linear equation. Now solve this system of linear equation and find the values of C1, C2 and C3 which will comes out to be. So the coordinate of the vector V relative to the basis S is given by. Now if suppose uh, the coordinate vector is given to you, basis is also given to you, then how? you will calculate that vector. So let's see uh, this example. So coordinates are given, basis is given. So how to calculate that vector? This is very easy. Because vector V is coming from R3 and uh, this set S is the basis. So any element can be expressed as the linear combination of the elements in the basis where C1, C2, C3 are uh, the, these are the coordinates which is given to you. So this is the value of C1, C2 and C3. So put these values here, you can find it out. C1 is minus 1, V1 is 1 to 1. So on simplification, we get this vector. So this is the required vector. Suppose uh, we have a vector space V given as R3 and suppose basis is given as and uh, suppose you have any vector in R3. So you have to find the coordinates of this vector V relative to the basis B. So what you have to do first write down the vector as the linear combination of the basis elements. If we say that suppose these uh, basis elements are V1, V2, V3. So we can write it down as now put the values of V, V1, V2, V3 in this equation and simplify it. We will get the system of linear equation as
Now from the, just simplify this system of linear equation, you will get the values of C1, C2 and C3. C1 is given as 2. Just use this value here. So the coordinates of the vector V relative to the basis B is given by so uh, this is the way how we can find the coordinates of a vector now let me discuss an important uh, theorem uh, for the basis suppose you have any vector space v and you have a basis b also given as so we know that if we take any element v in the vector space v then that element can be expressed as the linear combinations of the elements of the basis where the c1 c2 c n r is scalars so important thing is that uh, this representation of the vector v is unique uh, unique means what that means uh, we can write down this vector v or uh, and every vector v in one and only one way like this that means their coordinates will be same so this is uh, the important theorem because from here uh, we will have a very clear picture of the coordinates. So first let us see how uh, we will prove it. This is a very simple proof and the interesting one also. Suppose uh, you have a vector space V and you have a given basis B. And suppose to the contrary that for any vector V this vector has suppose two representation and the other representation is so suppose to the contrary to this statement suppose this element has these two representation now just subtract these two equations you will get v minus v it will be 0 plus c n minus k n v n so if you see uh, this equation, you know that your V1, V2, Vn, this is the basis elements. So and we know that if we have basis, so it will be linearly independent. So and uh, if the vectors are linearly independent with, uh, with the linear combination of some scalars, so then each scalar must be equal to zero that means from here we can say that c1 minus k1 equal to zero c2 minus k2 equal to zero and cn minus kn is equal to zero it means what your c1 and k1 are not different but the same so which proves that any vector v has a unique representation in the vector space with respect to a basis okay so this theorem uh, ensures us that each vector uh, will have its own coordinates in the vector space so uh, we can see geometrically okay so let's see uh, we will talk about r2 so that we will have a clear visualization of these coordinates 